it is massive and it's still growing even after COVID. Everybody uh, comes to it and enjoys it, loves it, and even on a wet morning like we had this morning, look how many cars are here. Good hobby, good sport. And the thing is you meet so many people that become friends. Well, the first car I had was a Mustang and then I had a 34 Ford Coupe with a 671 blower and you could only get one other person in the coupe. So I thought, well, maybe we should get a bigger car so we can have a bit more fun. So the more people you get in the car, the more fun you have. Had it 13 years now and improved it and improved it over the years. Yeah, it's a really, really cool car. And a lot of people come up and eyeball it and watch it and look at it and appreciate it which you know, make, makes all the hard work we put into them worthwhile. Funny story with the car, I was going home on a Monday from the beach off and after packing all that gear away and putting them on trucks and what have you, left here at four o'clock, got 12 kilometres out of Wongamata and the back axle walked out and there I was stuck at four o'clock on a Monday evening in the middle of nowhere. It's just what it is, you know, you're looking at a 52 year old car and it's all part of hot rodding. I've worked there 57 years, so when I left school and I was bulletproof and young, still come along, still enjoy it, still love the job. A recent addition to the vehicle, like uh, 15 days backwards, all my colleagues on Repco put that together. I was conned because I was asked what number plate you would like, and it was well done, I must admit at the time, because I didn't think about it. And yeah, back in 59, it really, you know, means something to me, really well forever. I've only missed two over the last 21 years and um, I'll continue to come here all the time and uh, support the beach hop. It's just well worth the energy. I have to be part of it, it's just the way it is. And I talked to our managing um, number one man in Auckland probably 12 years ago. I said, we should be here, Jonathan, we should be here. And he said, um, well, ring me next year. So I rung him. That's how it's evolved over the years and now we're here with everything and the whole package and we'll continue to be here going forward. There's a lot of people within Redco that have got the car back, got the car back big time.